Not exactly swipe the card. Then the amount. Are we eating in here? Deck. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Uh, card, swipe, amount, right? Code, swipe, amount. Jack, will you take care of the mean girls' table? It's too early in the season for me to start making enemies. Why should this year be any different? Because you're sailing off to save the world, and this place can't afford bad press. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I got it. Okay. I know you it comes. Ladies. We'll take three ramen diets. Uh, gonna need to see IDs. Um, we left our IDs at the beach, but we have plenty of money. Sorry, I'm not interested in your money. Are you interested in my phone number? Uh-oh. It worked. You smiled. <laughs> Are you always in a good mood? Yeah, when I, uh, when I see you. Your ring's pretty girly, don't you think? Uh, this? Yeah, uh, this was my mother's, and... I'm gonna go see how much it's worth. You'd sell your mom's wedding ring? <laughs> uh, oops. Well, trust me, there's really no sentimental value. Charlotte, the seamstress is ready. Momzilla. Oh, hi. This is Grayson, I'm uh, Declan Porter. Sorry to interrupt, but she has a fitting right now. Oh yeah, okay, that's cool. Cause uh, me too, you know, it's a big day of fittings. <laughs> see you around, Charlotte. The things you'll do to torture me. It's not always about you, Mom. Check out that sunset. The only thing missing is you. Call me sometime. Okay, uh, ciao. <laughs> hey, what are you, uh, what are you doing here? Your text said you wanted to talk? Yeah, but I, uh, I was gonna come to you. So, did you or didn't you want to talk? Okay, yeah, uh, here is fine. Yeah. All right, um, so far, I've tried taking you sailing without a boat, got my face bashed in by your ex and been arrested. So you don't want to continue this crime spree with me? No, what, I, what I want is to take you out on a real date. Okay, yeah, great. You said great? You wanted a different answer? Oh, no, uh, how about this weekend? Sure. Uh, but my parents throw this big party every year for the 4th, and I kind of have to be there. You should come. To your parents' party? I don't think so. But I'm, I'm gonna hold you to our date. Okay. This is a $200,000 car, easy. Oh yeah? See those pedals? One's a brake, one's a gas. Same as a dump truck. <laughs> Let me get this straight. Your mom said she was sorry. Then she gave you this car? She gave it to you like it was nothing. It is nothing. You guys got some cool ways of resolving your family issues. Oh my god. Charlotte, um, oh, oh. And my friends are having a thing later. So. But you guys are having fun, right? But it's, it's, it sure is. Asian markets are in a tailspin, and I can't get my broker on the phone. Any advice before I drown myself in the ocean? Well, too late. The only thing that can save me now is a pretty girl. You'll do. Asian market? Uh, you know, I, I read the journal on the way over. I'm glad you decided to come. You want to hit the bar? I, I got to tell you something first. You know I can't compete with all this, right? Oh, what? This, your life. I have no money. I mean, at one point, Jack was gonna sell the bar and, and then I would have gotten a piece, but uh, that didn't happen. And uh, I, 
was glad at the time. You know, because because the bar's an excuse to, to stay around here, and, and, and that means I'll be close to you. But it's also not, because like I said before, I, I can't compete. You know what I'm saying? I'm rich, you're not. Who cares? I'll never eat oysters again. <laughs> hey, sorry. That's how we do it on the docks. Trying to single-handedly restart the economy? I find shopping therapeutic. My parents are making me come to their stupid anniversary dinner tonight, so I figured the least they could do is treat me to a new dress. Besides, you'll need something to wear. To your parents' anniversary dinner? Please don't say no. To you? No way. But I can dress myself. Even better. <laughs> ah, Rosé, how lovely. Charlotte? Mom? You remember Declan? He's my plus one. Well, I'll just have Mrs. Johnson sit in another place at the table. You didn't tell I was coming. Must have slipped her mind. Yeah, you wouldn't want your food to get cold, Mrs. Grayson. I'm sure you slaved in the kitchen all day. You're funny. <laughs> How about a toast? To the Hamptons' very own William and Kate. Oh, we're not exactly royalty. No kidding. Duke of Cambridge would be caught dead working at a dive bar. It's not a dive bar, sir. Declan's right, Mr. Grayson. The stowaway is more of a local treasure. Oh, I didn't know you frequented such places, Emily. Oh, yeah. In fact, she was there this afternoon. She even gave him a present. What's he talking about? I was thanking him for fixing the porch swing. It was nothing. Yeah, it wasn't nothing to him. You don't know what it took for Jack to put himself out there for you on the 4th. And you let him think he had a shot, but he never did, because in your mind, he will never be good enough for you people. Now I know the feeling. Sorry, Charlotte. Tell me the truth. You invited me tonight just to piss off your mother. OK. Part of me did, yeah. But the only reason tonight was bearable was because you were sitting next to me. <sighs> Is that so? You're just going to have to accept that I like you. You're funny, and you're cute, and you voice your opinion. Well, that's not going to change. Good. You're probably the first person under that roof to ever be completely honest. I thought it was hot. Yeah. Oh, Charlotte, hey, you made it. Hey. I was just leaving. Um, you hungry or, uh... Hey, hey, look, there's no pressure here with me, all right? No, 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 it's, it's not you. Um, can, can we just sit and talk? Yeah, 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 of course, come here. Uh, what's going on? <sighs> it's my stupid parents. I mean, I always knew things were weird between us, but I never thought hated me. No, come on, that's not what she said. You're right. She said she wished I'd never been born, which is worse. I always knew Daniel was her favorite. Yeah, all right, trust me. I, I have an older brother, too, so I know the feeling. I mean, now mine's my guardian. So what happened to your mom? She left uh, when I was, like, two. I don't even remember. Uh, Jack does, but he doesn't talk about it. That's what kept me from hawking a ring. Like some stupid part of me thinks she's gonna come back for it. Can I see? Well, if it matters, he wouldn't have gotten much for it. It's fake. <laughs> uh, it figures. But you know what? It's priceless to you, and that's so much more important. Hey, uh, you should go home and work it out with your mom. At least you have one, right? Hey, 
Hey. Perfect timing. Did my mother call? She did. How much was I worth to her? Well, I asked for a hundred grand. She countered with twenty-five. Ah. Uh, <laughs> she has that in change at the bottom of her purse. It's a fortune to me. It means I can get a place by the water. You and me you can get some privacy. Whenever. How about we start right now? Hey, we're gonna be late for our apartment meetings. We're not gonna be late, Charlotte, because I canceled them. You don't wanna move in with me? I, I've never wanted anything more. It can't be like this. You have a nice life carved out for you here. And you're a part of it now. Yeah, I want to be a part of it forever. But if we're going to last, then I have to finish school. Or maybe go to college. You deserve a guy like that. You don't have to do this just for me. Well, I'm not. Do it for us. Here's your mom's check. Keep it. Think of it as my mother's investment in your future. It's not my style. I'll find another way. Hey, you in there? No man ever can keep that girl from moving on. Like a jackass in this touch. Well, stop acting like one and you'll stop feeling like one. Trust me, if your friends could see you now, I'd probably get jumped. <sighs> hey, you really want out of that text? Run away, <laughs> Go with him, go with him. Too much for me. Come on. <laughs> Where are we going? <laughs> Kidding, were you? About what? Well, you know, after this summer, I'm never gonna see you again. I was exaggerating. I'll have time off for Thanksgiving, unless I go to Geneva with the Model UN team. Great. Yeah, I'll see you at Christmas. Don't be like this, Declan. Believe it or not, I can be quite the multitasker. I believe you. Just not sure how I feel about being one of your tasks. Let's get out of here, huh? My thoughts exactly. Except I'm really not feeling orientation. Seems like more of a beach day. Hey, you ready for day one? You still picking me up? Picking you up? Please. How can you even ask that? Like everything's fine? Like you didn't just screw me over? What are you talking about? You sold me out to Mason Treadwell. According to Declan Porter, precocious young Charlotte Grayson was under the influence of a mind-erasing cocktail of prescription pain pills and champagne the night of the murder. Charlotte. Porter insists there was no hooded man on the beach and that the younger Grayson simply invented the theory when she realized her brother might be implicated. You totally lied to him. Charlotte, I, I know this is hard for you to hear right now, but I promise you that when all of this is over, you're gonna understand. <laughs> you know, you completely failed the Collins entrance exam. Grandpa had to bribe the dean to get you in. What are you talking about? You're just another puppet in the Grayson family play. 
and it's time for your exit. Unless you count that time you told me to get lost in the cafeteria, then it's been 31. Declan, listen. I know what's going on. My mom's convinced that guy on the beach is your brother. And you're protecting him, like I'm protecting my brother. No one's saying Jack did anything. But Daniel could go to prison for life. And it'll be my fault. And if you lie, it'll be your fault too. This is your chance to fix everything. Including you and me. Don't you want that? I do. More than any. We can be together again. All you have to do is tell the truth. <clears throat> knock, knock, kid. What do you want, Nolan? I'm just checking up on you. See, I'm not the only one. If I talk to you for a minute. Yeah, I was just leaving. Think about what I said. You know where to reach me. Declan. What are you doing here? Are you okay? They're awful, Declan. My entire family. Look, I'm, I'm so sorry for pulling your tuition. I'll cash in one of my savings no, bonds. Actually, I got it covered. Or Nolan does. I mean, guy's got a heart as big as his checkbook. See? Someone else appreciates how good you are. Can I stay with you tonight? Are all your t-shirts Steve Bees? You decorate with the girls back home in Yonkers. Wow, you work fast. Oh, Charlotte, it's not what you think it is. Yonkers, huh? Didn't even need the trashy tea to figure that one out. <sighs> what did you just say? Because I'm pretty sure you don't know the first thing about my life. You, on the other hand, are a walking tabloid. Everyone has things in their past they don't want people to know about. Right, Declan? Thank you. Jamie seems nice. I'm really happy for you. <laughs> what, what is this? Oh my god. The judge was supposed to bury this. I was a minor. What are you talking about? Who was that guy? The history teacher. Thought you lowered yourself to date me, right? Clearly, I'm the one that lowered myself to date you. It's not my fault your new crush is a tramp. I did you a favor. You really are your mother's daughter. You don't ever talk to me again, you got it? Oops. <laughs> Check out that sunset. Declan, my God, something terrible has happened. I think my mom is, 
is dead. Jacqueline, please pick up. Please. Jacqueline! Don't you ever, ever call me again. We are done. Do you understand me? Daniel's relief. The cause of the explosion is not yet known.